An alkane is a molecule that has only carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms, no other types of atoms, and it has all single bonds. So no double bonds, no triple bonds. So again, that is the definition of an alkane. A simple alkane, which is also called a straight chain alkane, is one where all of the carbon atoms, they are all in a line, or all in a row. One of the things that you need to do is learn the name of the simple alkanes with one through 10 carbon atoms. So I'm gonna give them to you right here. The one carbon alkane name is methane. If we have two carbon atoms, I'm gonna write this in condensed notation. The formula is CH3CH3. This molecule is called ethane. Three carbon atoms, which would be CH3CH2CH3, is propane. And that is the same molecule that you would use in a propane tank for your barbecue or whatever. The next one, CH3CH2. CH2, so there's two of them. I didn't mean to make a little dot there. I'll get rid of that. With a CH3 at the end. This is butane, like in a butane lighter. Five carbons in a row would be CH3, CH2, three of those, CH3, and this is called pentane. Six carbon atoms, CH3, CH2, four, CH3, is called hexane. At this point, their names start making sense because the prefixes correspond to the number of carbon atoms. CH3, CH2, five, CH3, that's seven carbon atoms. This is heptane. Notice that they all end in ane. That ending ane is what indicates that it is an alkane. CH3, CH2, 6, CH3, so that's going to be eight carbon atoms. That is octane, like what we have in fuel. CH3, CH2, 7, CH3, that's nine carbon atoms. That is nonane, no, no nane, no nane. And then the last one that I want you to learn, CH3, CH2, Eight, CH3, so that's 10 carbon atoms in a row. This is called decane. Um, so once we get to pentane, the names start making sense because the prefixes correspond to the number of carbon atoms. And again, these are what we refer to as simple or straight chain alkanes because they have all of their carbon atoms in a row. A cycloalkane is a molecule that is an alkane, meaning only carbon and hydrogen atoms, all single bonds, but the cyclo part of it means that the carbon atoms are in a, a ring or a circle or a loop. In I'm gonna say, we, we use the word ring. A ring's kind of a tricky word because it implies a, like a literal circle and we don't always get that kind of shape. The cycloalkanes start at three carbons because you can't make a ring with one carbon or two carbons. So the cycloalkanes start at three carbons and I'm gonna draw the three carbon cycloalkane. It is three carbons connected together. It's you know literally a triangle. Each carbon atom has two hydrogens on it. And so since it's a three carbon cycloalkane, uh, its name is derived from propane, but instead of just saying propane, because this is, this is the molecule called propane, we call this guy cyclopropane. So we just put cyclo in front of its name um, to let us know that instead of just being three carbons, it's three carbons in a row. I'm not gonna draw a lot of cyclic molecules because they get kind of bulky. Let's just draw one more of them. Let's draw this one right here. So this molecule that I just drew, and I drew it in line structure, this molecule has one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms in a ring. Six carbon atoms is hexane, but it's in a ring. So we would call this cyclohexane. 
But we could put cyclo in front of any one of these molecules name. Like if we had 10 carbons in a ring, we would call it cyclodecane. If we had eight carbons in a ring, we would call it cyclooctane. I'm actually gonna slide these down here. The last one that's on the list here is a branched alkane. A branched alkane is one that has carbon atoms in a row with um, additional carbon atoms coming off of that with a branch is what we call it, a branch of carbon atoms that are coming off of that row. So his name, you know, kind of makes sense. We're not going to learn how to name branched alkanes yet. That's something that is coming up. But here's just some examples of what they would look like. So this would be, you know, just an alkane, six carbon atoms in a row. So that would be a simple or straight chain alkane. And then if we put some carbon atoms coming off of that six carbon uh, straight chain, that that would be a branched alkane. We could have a couple branches on there if we wanted. They could be as big as we wanted them to be. So these are branches that are coming off of this six carbon simple alkane. And that makes this a branched alkane. We can also have branches with our cyclic alkanes. So here's our friend cyclopropane. And we could put a branch on the cyclopropane if we wanted. Like there's a really exciting looking branch. It's got a lot of stuff coming off of it. So we can branch off of a cyclic or we can branch off of a straight chain. The names, again, the names of these branched alkanes is something that we're going to learn later. It doesn't have anything to do with like the total number of carbon atoms. It's a little bit trickier than that. But right now, I just want you to be able to recognize a branched <coughs> alkane when you see it.